Alright, good evening, good masters. So as you guys all know, my name is Tom. And today, I'm very honored to be here, very grateful to be here with you in this reading week. So at first, I want to say thank you to our Toastmaster directors, Aiden, and for you as well, Michael. Uh, unfortunately, I couldn't find any photo <laughs> on Facebook because you don't have uh, any profile photo. Yeah. So without you both, both of you, I wouldn't have a chance to stand here to deliver this speech today. And thank you for our Toastmaster team for supporting me to get to where I am today from a guy with with very low skill English to now I'm here confidently giving this speech. So my first question to you is why are you here? Why are you here in this room today? Don't answer. Okay. So I think Toastmasters has always been a positive feedback loop for me and that the more I put into it, the more I seem to get out. And once I've discovered that, why would I stop? Why not just keep going on it? Then it just seems like it keeps expanding and I have this chance to get better and meet other people. And once you have that, then you keep those things that are valuable in your life. Oh, thank you. Thank you. And how about you? Ah, for me, it's about self-improvement. Self-improvement? Yeah, yeah. It gives me satisfaction as well. Of that course. I'm uh, mm. improving myself continually. Mm. Exactly. How about you? Uh, for me, I would like to explain my comfort zone mm -hmm. because I'd like to be comfortable being uncomfortable. Right. I would say there's a combination of the people. The community is great. It's all about people who want to become the best version of themselves that they can be, as well as the challenge that so many of the projects uh, give you, especially near the end of Pathways. They get used to do some really interesting things that, like you said, put you outside of your comfort zone. Well, I see. Yes, because for me, I strongly believe today is Friday night. And most people, they prefer to stay home playing video games or go to partying, drinking beers, chasing girls. But we all do something to sacrifice or something else. It the opportunity cost. So you are here, you should be very proud of yourself. And the first thing I want to start with is I want you to look at this picture. It was myself, my photo, six years ago, when I first came to Canada. So tell me, in this picture and here is still one person. What changed? What is the difference? Who can tell me? Your hairstyle. Mm -hmm. The way you dress. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the smile. Yeah. How about how how do I look like? Do you think I look confident at this photo? Yes. Yes. A little confident. <laughs> a little nervous. No, a little bit nervous, right? Yeah. So I re still remember at that time I first came to Canada for just a couple of days and I didn't know how to say any word of English. When I see a stranger, I just know how to say hi, like what's your name, how are you? I couldn't even handle basic English conversations. So when I see that, it always reminds me of good memory to get to where I am today. And this is a photo of me and my twin brother, Jerry. At that time, we were still, we were still at the high school. We just came to Canada. So, for me, I don't know what you think, but it doesn't look like a guy with confidence at all. And my biggest failures, I don't know if any of you, you're local, right? You're Canadian. I don't know if you know this best. So for most international students, if they want to go to university, they need to pass this test in order to get in, to be qualified with their English language. So both Jerry and I, we fill this test for them. And for other international students, when they first came to Canada, they just study for one year and they pass the test. But for us, we used to be at the high school studying here for three years, but we feel the best for them. So when our parents they know this, they were very disappointed because they spent a lot of money for us to come here to a new country to study and to explore new things. So it was very tough at that time. But at the same time, I remember the day 
I feel the IELTS test. And now that I couldn't sleep, I was thinking to myself, how longer do I still want to continue this life? How longer do I still want to being a continue to be a failure in my parents' eyes? So at that time, my dad he just opened a new hotel in Vietnam, in my home country. So there are 50 rooms. It's not a five-star hotel. It's like a regular hotel. It's okay. You can see a photo. So my dad's problem was in the hotel during the weekday. There's no customers. Only weekend is busy. So on weekdays there was so many empty rooms. My dad didn't know how to cover that empty room to make more money. So I decided to spend time to do more marketing and help my dad to to bring more customer in the hotel in the weekdays. And as a result, we doubled the revenue for my parents. And they decided to let us to come back here to Canada to continue our education at Ryerson. And as a result, when I first came, I published my first book, as maybe all of you guys know already. Uh, if you didn't get the book yet, you can get on Amazon for $8. Dollars. So, in here is some of my success stories after the failures. This is my workplace, the hotel I used to work for, my co-worker. And this is Ren Kadun, uh, he's the multi-millionaire influencer on on YouTube. This is my first job in Canada. So I remember at that time I we came back here to Ryerson and my English was not very good. So it was very hard for me to come to farm or hunt for job opportunities. And I decided to apply for more than 50 jobs online. And as a result we get I got like a few interviews after six months. And I got this job at Bishop Hotel. So this is the room of the hotel I used to work for. The customers they stay in their room, they order food or drinks. And my job was to deliver the food or drinks into their room from the kitchen. It was my job at the hotel. And this job helped me a lot to improve my English, get more get more abundant myself because this is a five-star hotel. Old customer, they come there, they spend a thousand a night. And now I remember back, um, me and Jerry, we have a chance to, to come to a hotel. So now I quit the job already. I quit this job a few months ago. And on this Sunday, we are going there as a guest to stay in the hotel. To, to experience as a guest, not an employee. So it was something that I want to share a big change, a big improvement. So this is Tom Master. I remember first time I delivered my first wish. Maybe you all of you see it. I was not confident, were very nervous, were very shy. But because of this, because of my goal, I did. And now a few days ago, I was confidently deliver a speech in front of a hundred students. I would say without Toastmasters, without you guys, I wouldn't have a chance to see this, this transformation. So I'm not saying this, this thing to impress you. Because if I could make it, you can make it as well. Maybe right now you still don't get the job you want or you didn't get the audience you want for your podcast or you didn't get the things you want in your life it's possible it's possible because it was possible for me so it's possible for you as well thank you